Have you ever been faced with an abundant harvest? So much fruit, you kind of don't know. You won't have enough time to pick them all. Time is running out and the fruit are falling. You got to get it in. You got to do something with it. Well, let me show you an easy way that we adopted from olive growers to harvest fruit that is ripe, that is falling, that we've got to bring in fast using tarps and shakers. Easy, cheap, effective, fast. Now that we've moved the tarps into position, so we try to get one on each side of the tree, try to make them overlap so that no fruit fall between, and then we position them so that it's under the branches that are the most loaded. Uh, if you had a really big tarp, not a problem. One tarp covers everything. These are the limit for how small I would want the tarp. And then we just shake them. So even if they fall on the ground, sometimes they get damaged. This one wasn't damaged from falling, but sometimes they get a little damaged. They explode if they're really ripe. They can split. They don't really explode too much, but they do split. But you know what? A little rub, a little wash. Hmm. And a lot of enjoyment. Oh boy, this is gonna be the next two years of dried plums. This is what you will end up with. One dryer full, each tray, one bag. Very, very healthy snack. Beyond organic from your own trees. Oh, mm. you can enjoy this the whole winter, the whole year. And they'll keep, they'll keep for years. Off to the next tree. The sort is pretty easy. All the sound fruit, not, not picked. Nice and solid, good fruit. We put them in our good fruit and any ones that are really gone soft, they're buggy, uh, they have brown rot. Those we put in our separate container. And so we sort them right away in the field. That way we keep in our, we bring in our our nicest fruit uh, and we'll just wash them off and they're ready to go. Great, great way to get a lot of fruit in a hurry. I do keep those that have split just in harvesting. So these will be easy to cut off when we are drying them up to preparing them to dry. So keep those put them to one side it's easiest to sort out whatever is the least numerous so in this case the the not nice ones are there's not much of not nice fruit so it's easy enough to see them and sort them out and then what you're left with is just to check that the others are actually sound There have been studies that have shown that shake harvesting does reduce the life of the tree. So that is actually with mechanical harvesters, tractor mounted harvesters, which shake the tree pretty violently. And there's about a 20% reduction in lifespan of the tree. They just figured the economics and know that it's still worth it because the, al the alternative of harvesting by hand is just not economically viable. So even though you replant a little sooner, it's still worth it. For us, we're not violently shaking the tree. We shake it basically like a, a good windstorm would do, which is not unusual. And the tree will have gone through that in their life a few times. There are some branches that will break off as well, some spurs 
that's the cost of shaking. It's part of a basically a little bit of a pruning of the the branches, so not ideal, but you know what? It makes the speed up so much faster than harvesting and going up and down a ladder that no problem. That's very, very acceptable to do. I'm okay with that. Off to the next row. Yeah, so that's the harvest from five trees. Now that's not the total harvest from those trees. All these trees were picked uh, the last two open days. Members picked these trees. Everything that was within reach was picked and some of the higher things with a, a small ladder was picked. So this is really just the tops. So we're just cleaning up these trees. That's why it's not really worth going up and down the ladder for this amount of fruit, but it's a good amount of fruit. So that's the good fruit from this one row. And that's what we reject. So we're pick, picking them up. They'll go either to chickens or compost or a bit of both. I did say that was a simple technique, not too expensive. Two tarps. We're two of us, so it goes faster. We use two different kinds of poles. So this one's actually a rock rake. You could use all kinds of things. I like this one because it allows a final cleanup of any plums that really hang on and we can just grab them in there and pull them off and the the main harvester shaker this is really fancy it's actually a a paint roller that fits on a paint pole so this is a, a an extendable one it goes to i think it's 18 feet so if we really had a high tree we can reach it and this is just this paint roller is just a way to have a hook doesn't have to be fancy I could modify it but you know what this works and this pole is yeah it's a long pole so that's all it is two tarps couple poles a harvest basket some buckets and there you go you're ready to start harvesting and put up a winter supply or two years supply of delicious fresh dried plums you want them dried when they're falling off like these do because they're just so much sweeter Hope you enjoy an abundance in the years to come. Off to the next tree! Thanks for watching! Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the Permaculture Orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com Subscribe, please! Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Bye!